Don't miss any content. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Welcome back to the channel. As usual, I am your host, Selassie. Yeah, so today we're going to talk about uh, Kumase Asante Kotoko and uh, Baby Jet Asamwajan. And a couple of days ago, I brought you a story about Baby Jet Asamwajan being extremely angry at Kumase Asante Kotoko fans bullying him. He even made an Instagram video on that uh, saying that Kumase Asante Kotoko fans, some of them and other Ghanaians, use his name when they travel outside and uh, they pretend now that they don't like him and all that. And it's such a hypocritical attitude. Asamoah Jan went on and on. In my opinion, he did not need to react. Booing is part of the game. Even the best of players, Lionel Messi and Co, get booed. But he does also he reacted. And a former Asante Kotoko management member has responded to it. Quite an interesting response that he gave Baby Jess Asamoah Jan. And uh, we'll have a listen to what he had to say to Asamoah Jan. We're also going to talk about Jordan Ayu. Jordan Ayu has, has talked about his favorite striker, African striker, eulogizing the Didier Drogba. More details on that today. As usual, subscribe if you have not. Click on the notification bell to get more updates. So, congratulations to Chelsea fans. They have made it to the Champions League final. I actually called it because in the first leg, Real Madrid were not convincing for me. Even the return of Sergio Ramos, uh, it, it, I still had my doubts and it was confirmed. The Blues are through to the final. An all English final, Manchester City versus Chelsea. Should be interesting, 29th of May. So to our stories for today, and I'll start off from the camp of Baby Jet Asamoah Jan. Yes, Asamoah Jan, after Kumasi Asantekoto's game with Legon City, was booed after the game uh, when he came on. Uh, also, he was booed and uh, he had... A few words for the Kumasi Asante Kotoko fans. And now, an ex-management committee member of the Porcupine Warriors has reacted and responded to Asamoah outburst on social media and at a press conference. And now, he is in the person of Nana Kwame Dankwa. He responded to the Ghanaian striker who has warned fans of the club against using his name for bragging rights following a bullying incident on Saturday. Now, on the books of Legon Cities, the veteran forward was subjected to boos by Kotoko fans during his substitution into a Ghana Premier League match at the Accra Sports Stadium in which they lost to Kumasi Asante Kotoko 1-0. Jan did not hold back after the game, describing the Kotoko fans as hypocrites. Now subsequently, Dakwa had his say on the matter. Who told him that we mention his name when we travel outside? Does his name guarantee visa acquisition? He said on Ghana web. He is not the only player who has played for the Black Stars and has returned to play in the Ghana Premier League. Respect is reciprocal. These same supporters cheered him on when he was warming up. Jan has suggested the hostility received was because of his decision to snap Kotoko in favor of Legon Cities in his return to the Ghana Premier League. Going abroad for 17 years, the former Sunderland and Udenese striker made a return to Ghana joining the Royals on a short-term deal. And now Jan had previously spoken out publicly about his love for the Porcupine Warriors and desire to play for them before calling time on his career. It was not surprising that he entered into negotiations with the club before sensationally swerving the Porcupine Warriors to sign for Legon Cities who according to him offered him a better deal. I chose a team I can play for. Even if I want to play for Kotoko, I chose Legon City because I felt the deal was better for me, Jan said in a video on social media. You cannot force me to play for any team. I don't want to. So what you guys did yesterday was unnecessary. And when and then when you fly outside, you mention my name. You people fly, fly outside or travel outside, then you boast with my name. I am not the only one. But I can say I am the one of the people you boast of when you go outside. And you cannot tell me it's not true. So you cannot be hypocrites. And that is a short snippet of what Baby Jen Asamoah said in that video. But that response there uh, from the former Kotoko X management committee member saying that who told him that we use his name? They don't use his name. So why does he want to make it look like uh, what it, it is 
something that is a given and also saying that he shouldn't blame Kotoko fans respect is reciprocal these were the same fans who were cheering him when he was warming up and uh, he did he, he was being half cheated on and they pulled him why should he take it so personal i was quite surprised he even went online on instagram to do a video on that I, you would think someone like a Samoa Chan would know better but he's, an, he's a human being in the end has emotions reacted and that is what happened there on the front of baby Jetta Samoa Chan the response has come through and one other member was saying that don't blame Kotoko fans for your poor form he is yet to score for uh, the players at his team Legon City who are languishing in relegation and uh, yeah, I think that is what he should be focusing on and not on fans booing or fans will be fans they will do what they want don't focus on them baby jets don't focus on them so much let me your thoughts in the comments box on this latest update there my next story has to do with Jordan Ayu he has eulogized Didier Drogba the legend and says he is one of the players he looks up to now the black star striker Jordan who is currently with Crystal Palace has eulogized Chelsea legend Didier Drogba saying the former strikers Premier League Hall of Fame nomination is well deserved now the newly introduced Premier League Hall of Fame honors uh, players who have shown exceptional skill and have had significant influence on the Premier League Thierry Henry and Alain Shearer the first inductees whereas Drogba a four-time Premier League winner with Chelsea made the nominees list alongside 21 other legendary footballers including David Beckham he said he thinks that Beckham deserves it he's outstanding all these players when I was a kid who want to play football they make you want to dream big uh, they are big examples for us Didier Drogba as well he said it's a big example for me as an African along with two inaugural inductees uh, there will be a fan vote to determine the full class of 2021 the top six will be inducted into the Premier League Hall of Fame what are you there eulogizing uh, Didier Drogba saying that he's one of the players he really does look up to and uh, he deserves to be in the Hall of Fame uh, that is quite a new introduction by the Premier League let me know your thoughts in the comments box on this one Didier Drogba should he be in the Hall of Fame the newly created Hall of Fame along with Thierry Henry and also with Alan Shira. so that has been it for today a response for baby Jetta Samoa Jan we do not use your name when we go outside your name does not guarantee us visits is what one of the management former management committee members of the porcupine warriors is saying to us someone jan it's quite interesting baby jet in my opinion did not need to respond but he did also uh, jordan are you eulogizing uh, dda drogba saying he deserves to be in the hall of fame newly introduced i'll see you guys in the next one have a great day Enjoy the rest of the week.